Hello there, and welcome to my workshop. Today's video is going to be, um, well, a strange one, I suppose. About two weeks ago, I put a video up, video number 356, and uh, where I showed you how to produce a pen. And in my case, I make four different types of pen, one of which is hue and pine where I announced that I was making those particular pens out of 2000 or up to 2000 year old wood and uh, you know a lot of you do understand that trees are very long lived and in particular hue and pine uh, but I've had a lot of emails and comments saying um, that I probably should mind that I didn't step in what I was dishing out <laughs> um, if you know my what I mean but in fact it is true and today I'm going to prove it to you but um, you know if I th this is a piece I'm, I'm using right now and the camera just cannot pick out or pick up the the growth lines because they're so minute so I have a mechanism where I can show you and prove to you how long lived these trees are and to do that I'm going to use an electronic microscope okay I have a couple of examples here first of all So this is a hue and pine pen. Now this is a blackwood pen. And this is a myrtle pen. I, I actually finished making these uh, this morning. They're ready for, for shipment. Um, so I just thought I'd show you the examples of pens and of course this is this is how they start off okay so you, you know they're, they're cut into little square blocks uh, preferably you know they're, they're um, part of the same piece so you can you can line it up and the grain pattern carries on through through the pen when it's put together. So I've got, I've, got, I've got more light here now. So if I show you that, you might make out some growth rings there. But like I say, I have electronic microscope here which will magnify to times 1000. Okay, so whatever you, whatever you see on here, it's up to 1,000. I, I think uh, I've got it focused uh, about 700 times. Because uh, going to uh, 1,000, uh, it was just too blurry. You couldn't sort of really make it out <laughs> with the amount of you know, light that I could get on it. Okay, so I'll, I'll just switch that... Um, electronic microscope on now okay uh, now I think that's pretty well focused um, I'll just try I'll try and fetch you in a little bit closer there I think you can I think that's a pretty good picture now um, now what I'm going to do is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the end of a pencil underneath this so you can sort of gauge the, the size. Here's a pencil and let's see if I can get it in without getting my head in the way. Pencil coming in. And that's me shaking. I can't. So you can see, that's a pencil. 
Um, now then, to make some... So now I have to make some sort of reference now of size. So here's a, a steel rule, all right? So it's a 12 inch rule or just over three, uh, 305 millimeters, all right? 12 inch rule. So we're gonna pop that underneath. Okay, each one of those is a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, and then we've got millimeters here. And you can just make out the growth rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on and so forth. Uh, there's, without counting, there's probably more than 30 there. Now then, this is what's te technically known as a, as a graticule. This is what's technically known as a graticule. Now, in other words, it has very fine graduations on here. Uh, so fine, I think, don't think the camera can actually pick it up there. It might be. Um, so from this, we can actually gauge the size of these. So I should, I'm just going to slide this underneath now. Um, unfortunately, the lights that are in there, uh, you know, enabling us to actually see, actually do block the... Okay, so, so that is actually too big. So if we go down and down and down to one that is roughly about the size of each growth ring, which is 0 0.75 of a millimeter. Um, so we're actually, we'll actually call that one 0 0.8. So there's, there's 0 0.8. Hang on, let me get a bit more light so you can see that. So there we go, that's 0 0.8, 0 0.8 of a millimetre. I'm sorry about the line, the, I'm sorry about the uh, light on the screen there, but I have to put that light there so you can see on the camera. And we're going to convert that now, we're going to convert that now to thousandths of an inch. So it's three thousandths of an inch. So each growth ring, on average, is approximately three thousandths of an inch. So I've just taken it up a slightly higher resolution so you can actually see. You might be able to detect this slightly snowy. You can see some shimmer. That's the sort of electron microscope uh, sort of effect. Okay. So we've established that roughly each growth ring is, a, is approximately three thousandths of an inch. This is a piece of uh, the trunk, the main, main trunk of a hue and pine tree. And can you see the growth rings? <laughs> They're very, very small. Um, in fact, the center of the tree, I can take this back, let's get a bit more light on. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, the centre of the tree is around about off, off camera. Let me walk back a little bit because I've got growth rings going like this. So the centre of the tree is here somewhere. Okay, so the rings go out beyond here somewhere. So that the rings continue out beyond here somewhere. So this tree is well over 2,000 years old. And this piece of hue and pine is a part of this tree. So I think we can safely say it's 2,000 years or so. So, okay. So, uh, I hope uh, you understand my explanation now of age of a hewn pine tree. And uh, they are for sale. So, if you want to own a 2,000 year old wood pen or a blackwood pen or a myrtle pen or an oak pen and the details for ordering pens will be at the end of this video and also below this video in above the comment section and uh, how to contact me to purchase. Incidentally I, I would ask you to because Christmas is coming up if you require a pen for someone for Christmas it probably would be advisable for you to order like now or as soon as you could because um, you know judging by the response I've had so far for pens um, I'm going to be a little bit hard pushed to uh, to get them all out for Christmas so uh, you know, be warned, if you want one for Christmas, uh, it's best to, you know, sort of book in early. And, um, you know, I can pretty well then guarantee you getting them. Uh, at the moment, there is about a week's delay from me manufacturing to me getting them out. Uh, for instance, like this, this Hue and Pine was, was ordered um, five days ago. Um, and once I get a firm order, you know, it, it uh, then goes in the lineup to be made. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and, and I will say now that, look, this, this is, for me, is a hobby. And, uh, you know, this will never go into mass production or anything like that. So there is only a limited uh, amount of pens that I will be making um, so you know so just bear that in mind and if you want with, if for Christmas for a loved one or a friend um, you know sort of please help me out and you know sort of book in early as early as possible so, so thank you for joining me for this little video today. I suppose it's a little bit of an information and uh, promotional video I suppose you could call it. And um, don't forget if you want to see the, uh, the, the how I make these pens, I go into great detail. Uh, I did a, a you know, full video of uh, right from cutting the, the raw material down to, um, to the, fi the finished product. An actual fact uh, through a lot of requests. The, the, the next video after that, which would be uh, video 357, uh, solely devoted to the finishing uh, and the, the, the actual um, the, the, the waxes and polishes that I, that I use that actually are all Australian made. And uh, I get them. Now, these are the products that I use for a finish. Um, they're all made by the same company, and it's an Australian company. Okay, it's U Butte. Okay, so they're the two products. So you put this one on first, and then you put this one on after. And they're, they're friction polishes, and I'll show you in the video um, 
357, how to apply it, and how, how it comes up. And it's like a glass finish, and it's there to stay. So, thank you for joining me for this, this video. And please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again for the next video. Bye for now.